I'm ready. 100%. Hi again. My name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller. And today we're doing another haul video of some of the stuff that we picked up at the Goodwill Bins in St. Louis. Tons of plush. Some will be bread and butter. Some will be definite bolos. I've already seen one little bolo in here. I'm happy with what I'm showing. I try to make a power right here so it makes things go faster, but I still have this much in a bag. From... I don't think the whole bag got shown, but it's, it's a big huge. bag. It's huge. It's huge. They're bigger than the bags we've used in the past. Yep. Hey, this is a bolo. This is Ringo. He is one of the Russ home buddies. Oh, not a beetle? Nope. Which is good though. I've never seen the paper tag. So here's a paper tag for the home buddies. They are terry cloth. You guys know I always talk about if you find a terry cloth plush, definitely check the comps. I think Ringo though is one of the ones that is better than average. I, I think I have a different one of him. I think he's more sitting up where this one is lying down. So I'm not sure, but I'm still hoping 20 plus for him. Paw Patrol. I had Robert look him up because I was like, this is a different one. This is Tracker. He doesn't have his clothes, um, but he needs a bath. I think, you know, he's just one of the harder to find of these. Robert said he saw comps for like 20 ish or so for him. For listed, but... Yeah, for maybe listed. He, maybe she, he should go by Streaker since he doesn't have his clothes. Yeah. Don't look at them! Look! I love this. It is Commonwealth. Probably, yeah, it says 1990. Not sure. A lot of times some of this stuff gets added on. The necklace is broken, so I'm probably going to just continue to take the rest of that off. I'll probably leave this. Look at the bows in her ears. I don't know. I, oh, look, she's got ice skates on too. How cute. I don't know. I'm hoping maybe... 15 to 20 dollars another vintage plush it needs cleaned but y'all he's kind of stiff and i have had issues with stiff plush in the washing machine even though i don't have an agitator sometimes these go flying seams come ripped open and the foam goes everywhere it is dakin 1978 yeah, shredded clippings. So I'm not quite sure how I'm going to clean them. I, I may put him in there and hope for the best. This is Baby Christmas. Pretty sure it is Dayton Hudson Target. Yep. I just mentioned Dayton Hudson the other day and I said I find the dog. I want to say it was a snowman or something, but this is one of them. Again, it's really nice that it has its paper tag. Probably still going to be like maybe $12 to $20 somewhere in there. I love this. Love, love. Definitely vintage. Needs a little cleaning. It says D and L imports. Made in China. I don't know. I love it. Maybe Google Lens will find it for me. I'm not sure. But otherwise, I'll probably list it for $20, $25. I thought this giraffe was interesting that he had no spots on his head. Uh-huh. Is he something different? No, I assume it's a giraffe, but there just are no spots on his head. That's true. So I had to Google it, Google it and said, do giraffes have spots on their head? And they do. Except he doesn't. I know. That is odd. Hmm. That is odd. Have you ever seen giraffes fight? They swing yeah, their heads at each other. Yeah, and wrap their necks and everything. Yep. There's a couple of lamb sheep. This one is the Heritage Collection Gons Bros. Made in Korea. Gonna need a bath. It's got a lot of condition wear, but I'm still thinking... 12 to 15 dollars for it once i get it cleaned up let me show you another one that i just grabbed look this one's a hand puppet this one is gunned 
1984. Look, it's got the old tag. It's going to need a bath also. I don't know. Maybe $15 to $20 for it. I'll give it a bath even with the bell on. Hopefully it'll survive. This is Nanco. Nanco stands, it's Nancy Company. Just cute. Look, it's got this embedded plastic, I love you, tag. It's probably still going to be bread and butter. Oh, Mary Meyer. Flip-flops. There's a whole bunch in this series. They've got these dangly legs. And right on the tag, well, usually it says flip-flops on here. I'm not seeing it on this one. Probably... 10 to $15 for it. Look how cute. This is Violet from the Great Wolf Lodge. Little cheer costume. It is also Build-A-Bear. I'm hoping 25 to 30. No, 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 no. 15 to $20 for her. This looks like Walgreens or Walmart. Yep. Walmart. Look. I, I mention this quite often. I do really well with plush, with rabbit ears. Just, I don't know. Maybe people collect them. Got to be Easter themed. Probably still only going to be maybe 12 or so dollars. Funny thing is, I have another one of these listed. Pretty sure. But for some reason, I feel like it's uh, more floppy. So, but it has to be the same character. It says it's applause, and her name is Mary Bell Cat. Makes me wonder if she's a character from one of the series. 1985. Don't know. Very, very cute. Does have that I'm going to have to contend with. Y'all, I say this a lot of times. If you're going to wash something that's black or red, Definitely use the color catcher sheets when you're doing these because these tend to be colors that um, bleed. So I put it in every load of my toys just in case there's something in there that could ruin the whole load. This, yeah, I was going to say, this seems like it's Trend Masters. It is. Y'all, it's really dirty. And it's going to be one of those motion sensor, um, like hanging decorations. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. Probably didn't notice how much it needs cleaned. But we'll see what I can do. I've got a couple of things I'm going to take upstairs and try to hand wash. That's easy to do with the bins when you're grabbing things very quickly and you don't notice it right. And Because you don't go back through your cart. I don't go through my stuff. I go through his stuff. But usually I just grab it all. Grab whatever it is I, I'm I'm looking at it at the moment. It's kind of like looking at clothes that you want to buy, but it's in somebody's garage and they don't have really bright lights. So you pick it up and it looks great. And then you bring it home under the photo lights and you're like, how in the world did I miss this giant oh, stain? the stains. Yes. All right. Funny story is I had another one of these recently that needed washed. So I threw it in the washing machine. Don't do that. Don't do that. And see, this one's dirty, too. It is vintage. What happened to it? Tell us the whole story. I'm going to tell you. Did it just get wet and shrink no. or something? Nope, nope, nope. All of this wore off. It ended up just being a big old white nose. Totally gone. Unfortunately, also, it left little black specks all over the rest of the toys. So it's been a booger trying to use a lint roller to get a lot of that back off of this stuff. Was so that just like the little fake leather stuff? Yeah, kinda? it's like a coating on there. And sometimes they're okay, but this particular one, no. So I'll take him upstairs and try to just hand clean all of this off, especially because it does have its paper tag anyway. Dogs. I tend to pick up most dog plush as long as they're in decent condition. This one is Dandy, a little dachshund. Probably, I don't, I'm thinking 10 to $12 for it. This is cute. It is Little Journey 2008 
13, Kids Preferred, and it is a wind-up. So, I'm not sure. I've not had this one before, I don't think. But I'm hoping at least bread and butter, $8 to $12 for it. There you go. I just touched it. I wound it up the other day when I brought that bag in to make sure it worked. All right. Oh, look. I have the outfit, the Paw Patrol Sky Build-A-Bear outfit. Not sure if I have her in here somewhere, but I will... I'm hoping to list it for maybe $10 to $15 for the whole thing. Okay, look, it is Carter's 2020. I don't know. He seems familiar, but he is going to need a bath. I'm hoping maybe $10 to $15 for him. Could be bread and butter. Not sure if there's going to be more to this, but I found quite a bit of... Build-A-Bear clothes and um, American Girl clothes while we were there. This is Bitty Baby. It would have gone to a little bed. If I can find more pieces, that would be nice. And I'll just make a lot. Um, but I'm thinking bread and butter for this part. Love this. Look how cute. It, oh, it is FAO Schwartz. Very nice. I don't know. I'm hoping $20, $25. It's larger, maybe even more. I could say almost like realistic size for like a puppy. Cute. This is Kelly Toy 2017. Little brown lamb. I don't know. Hoping maybe $10 to $12 for it. Okay. Are these the same? Nope. All right, this is Gond, Mr. Snuffleupagus. I've already got a couple of characters up there that are Sesame Street. I think I'll maybe, other than the puppet, I think I'm going to try to stick with Fisher Price. So I'll go ahead and get him listed. He's probably going to be um, probably 10 to $15. But I've done really well with Kermit. Now this one says Disney Parks. Sometimes Disney Park stuff it's really good because, you know, it's purchased at the park. I'm guessing that's what it means. I don't know. Might have Robert check him. He's got a lot of um, fuzz balls peeling on the the collar. I'll use, I've lost my sweater shaver. Did you borrow it? I have not found it. I may just need to go buy another one because it's been a while and I've not found it. So, don't know. I'll have Robert check. <laughs> I just sold one of these. I want to say about $20. Um, vintage Gund. It is 1982. Very cute. I had a yellow one, I think, in a previous video that looked a little bit like this. Maybe. I can't remember. But, you know, I'll probably list it $20, $25 after I get it clean. Rattle. What is it? MTY International. Very cute. I don't know. I'm hoping. Oh, he's got. Oh, he's going to hang or something because. Look. Huh. I don't know. Bet you it went around like a blanket. This was like a blanket set, maybe. Probably gonna still be bread and butter. Love this. It says Schnapps. S C H N A P S. Schnapps. Not two peas. What does that mean? That would be Schnapps. Oh, Schnapps. I think it has two peas anyway. I don't know, but I don't know what else that means. I'm not seeing, it almost made me think Russ, but nowhere on here is it saying Russ. But it says made in Korea. I don't know, I'll have to see what some research gets me. But I'm hoping maybe 20 bucks or so for him. All 
All right, this is probably, yep, MTY International. Health. It's the same tags as Dandy. I'm thinking, yeah, they're all intertwined. The larger, ooh, he's chocolate scented. Very strongly chocolate scented. I don't know. I'm hoping $20, $25 for him. This. Oh, Hug and Love. Not a brand I pick up a whole lot, but look how cute. Very cute. Little rabbit with her pink. This almost feels like some of the loveys, like from Blankets and Beyond. They have loveys that are like this. I don't know. I'm hoping $10 to $12 for this. It's very cute. Look, he's got his little bonnet. He is Hasbro Softies. See, I love Brover. Love him. I'm trying to see if there's a date. Muppets Inc. Made in Korea. I'm not seeing one right away. Look how cute. Probably $12 to $15. Yeah. I, found, I pick up a lot of these anytime I find them. Almost unless they're just going to be beyond cleaning. But again, this is Thai Pluffies. This is the from 2010. Got little red hearts on it. No ear tag. I don't, I don't remember on this one. There's some that do very, very well. Um, I'm hoping at least $10 to $15 for it. This one's sad. Don't know about it. We'll see, but look at his face. It is American Greetings Bape. I'll just keep on going. Look. It's got a chime. American Greetings. Hopefully this will come off. I will put it in the wash. I don't think it'll affect the, the chime ball. But probably still only going to be like bread and butter. Unfortunately. But color block. It's a good keyword. At first one, I, I remember seeing this. I thought maybe it was handmade. Because look at the eyes. They're just kind of stitched. Horns have a lot. That's felt has a lot of wear. But look, it says, there's a tag, horndribbles.com. I don't remember what I saw, but it was enough for me to go ahead and grab it. I think it says Mosby, M-O-S-B-Y, Explorer's Playground. I don't know. Almost looks maybe like a book character. I don't know. I'm hoping 25 plus for it. The horns remind me of a where the wild things are kind of thing. I was thinking the exact same thing. I loved that book. Loved reading it to my boys. I'm not sure if there's more of this. But this says, Play School Busy Little Garden Nesting Bird Houses. Probably, th these are going to be replacement pieces. I'll probably keep them together because they look like they belong in the same set. Probably will list like $9.95 for the two. <laughs> Grab this little hamster because it's Douglas. It's still probably going to be like $7.95 or $9.95. All right, my last two treasures. Look, y'all, this is the same as my elephant. But it's not as popular. Not as big bucks. But, look, it has play school. It is called a snuzzles. But everything else is faded. It is dirty. Hopefully I can get those stains out. But I want to say it's going to be like $30 or $40. But it's been a real... I used to find these every once in a while. And back then it was only like $15 or $20. I think they've gone up a little bit in value because they're harder to find. But there's still nothing like them. And then this. Look, y'all. Build-A-Bear. Hello Kitty. Even as a white, just plain white one with no ribbon. It is very dirty, though. I'm going to have to work on that. 
um, probably $40 to $50 plain with no accessories. I don't think I have any shirts that this would, um, I don't think I have any shirts that will go with this because I think I got rid of most of the clothes at my last, um, what not, what not show. Dang it. I could not get that out. All right. So definitely anytime you see Build-A-Bear, Hello Kitty, or any of its other side characters, Check the comps, but most Hello Kitties do really well, and especially if you can find them with the bow. All right, I didn't even finish the bag, so that'll make it into the next video. I hope you guys are enjoying this. Lots of treasures. I am working as quickly as I can to get this stuff listed because, you know, it's one thing to go shopping and source them, but y'all, you got to get your money back. You got to make some money. You can't just let it sit in your death piles forever. And right now it's fourth quarter. Lots of shopping going on right now, especially with the vintage stuff. I'm selling tons of toys and especially the vintage. I just got an amazing little note the other day. Somebody was so thankful that they had found a little Eden dog that I recently sold. And she sent me a picture. I love when they do that. Sent me a picture of the two dogs side by side. She said at some point her dad had removed the music box out of the one she had. Um, and so she was so glad that she had found mine. And even though mine tentatively was working, she said she was going to try to open it up and see if she could get it working again. But that happens a lot during fourth quarter. People start thinking about toys from their past and they go looking. And normally for vintage toys, they go to, they go to eBay. So I've, I've been doing really well. And they have a, a parent or a spouse or a friend that has mentioned that I had this thing when I was a kid, you know, and I, I really enjoyed it, you know, but, you know, they don't make those anymore. And then the person that hears it takes that as a cue that, well, I'm going to find it. Mm -hmm. And it's not necessarily for themselves, but they hear somebody else wanting something. So that, that's why I pick up the vintage plush. And, you know, a lot of times it's long tail. But then I get that letter. I get that message from somebody. I get a picture. I mean, I've literally gotten letters in the mail from people who were just so grateful that they found this long lost love of a plush. So, all right, I've talked enough. Let's get to work. Bye.